Hey guys, I want to go over the if error statement, just a way to get rid of error statements. Uh, a lot of times you'll be doing um, a percentage or, you, I mean, everyone's seen the error messages like the sl n slash a or the, um, the, the v, when you get VLOOKUP errors or um, the div divide by zero error. It doesn't look good on your spreadsheets and it can throw off a lot of other calculations. So I'm just gonna show you a quick function that will get rid of all those. So let's say we've we've got this. We've got um, some baseball player names and some uh, information with them here. And say we want to cal we um, we're going to be calculating a percentage. And say this percentage is say um, these categories are wrong, but say these are just hits and at bats. So say we're just going to calculate um, a, a percentage here. So say we wanted to do say hits divided by at bats. A very simple percentage comes out zero and we copy it down however if you look here there's a one of our errors uh, div and you don't want to see that when it comes up so what we can do is use an if error function so if you look up here you can see the function f2 divided by e2 if you put the go if error parentheses and then you put your um, your value what the uh, original function is and then comma Here's where you want to put what the value is if, if an error comes up. So in this case, we'll just use zero. But you can have you can have it say a word or say anything you want. We even put another function in there. So I'm gonna click OK. Now when I copy this all the way down, now this becomes a zero. And this works for um, those those NA errors also. So say we have um, these people and we want to do a, a VLOOKUP onto here. So we're gonna do equals VLOOKUP. We're looking up this person, comma, in this table, comma, we're going to put in the fourth column, comma, false. So it's just a basic V lookup. We're pulling in and we copy it down, and there's an NA. So this if error will work the same way for um, as this. So we just type in if error, parentheses, you get your whole formula, and then comma, Whatever you want it to say, you can put zero. I mean, this way I'm just going to have two spaces, so it's just like um, it's going to be blank. So we click OK. So now when I copy this down, now all of a sudden this became a space, just because we don't have it on here. It looks funny when you see the pound na, and if you just we review the formula, it says if error, and then vlookup. It's got your whole vlookup statement here, comma. Then here's the error message. So we we found out this was an error, and it put quotes in there, and that's just a way to make your spreadsheet look better and get rid of the NAs and you may even be doing future other calculations on top of these numbers like this average you might be doing another calculation on top of this if there's an NA if there's an error on here your future calculations aren't going to work so using if error is uh, be definitely helpful thanks a lot bye